The idea of using insect feed has come because the use of fish meal, which is a conventional protein source for producing meat, for that matter, broiler production, is becoming questionable and is becoming more difficult. Fish meal prices are rising. In fact, we are not even getting the catch and a whole lot of problems. Again, the soybean, which has also become the most commonly used plant protein, also has a problem with deficiency of uh, some of the essential amino acids. And so soybean alone may not be able to feed the birds properly. And so we think that we have to look for other sources of protein for poultry production. So we looked at other options. And we think that the insect can give us a good source of protein and it can work environmentally. The last time we came around for the social learning, where we took people through production of uh, lava meal, they expressed the wish to go through a process where the birds have been fed with this lava meal. And because of that, we've set up an eight-week demonstration where broilers are raised on four different diets. One with a vegetable source of protein, which is soybean, and three from animal protein sources. But out of these three, one is the conventional fish meal that everyone does. And the novelty here is we are using two other treatments where the protein source is solely from the black soldier fly larva and another where the protein source is solely from the house fly larva. Black soldier fly is an insect that does not feed and for that matter is not associated with any diseases and it can produce a lot of eggs which will hatch within five days and we can raise the larvae within 15 days and you can get a larvae weighing around two milligrams and we think that this larvae can help us manage our waste and give us protein as well. In some places like China, the larvae has been used to manage waste. And we think that we, when we use it to manage waste, we get our compost from it and we can also get our larvae, which is a protein from it. So we set up to do some kind of study to prove that whether it can work for feeding chicks. So we designed an experiment. We used about uh, 700 broiler day old chicks, the cob breed. And we divided them into four major treatment groups. The first treatment group is just made up of using soya bean as a main source of protein. The second group, we used the part of soya bean and part of fish meal. The third group, we used house fly larvae meal, which has been produced under scientific methods, under safe conditions. And then the fourth group, we also use the black soldier fly larvae meal plus the soya bean. And let me state here that the portion of the larvae meal is the same as that of the fish meal. And so that we cannot, we cannot get any differences. So we set off and normally our poultry farmers will use a minimum of eight weeks to produce their beds. So we went for the eight weeks. These beds will be moved to the adjacent pens here and all those who have come will observe the change in growth. These will be supported by figures because these bears are weighed every week. Weighing time will shorten as they start growing faster. And we look at observations that we have and whether they tally with what's going on. At the end of this process, we will also let people go through the testing of uh, meals made from the beds. They also see live beds and also see dressed ones and compare their weights. 
The first three weeks is the starter phase, then we changed to the grower phase and we changed the diet to the finisher. So we use three phase feeding, starter phase, grower phase and then finisher phase. In the starter phase, the protein we use 23-24% uh, crude protein. We dropped it between 21-20% crude protein and in the finisher phase, we dropped it between 19 and 20 percent crude protein. We fed the birds for the period of eight weeks, but we were weighing them weekly. We weighed the quantity of feed they've eaten. We look at mortality, we look at uh, uh, feed efficiency and all that. At the end of the day, we computed the feed efficiency and did our comparisons. At the end of the experiment, we realized that the birds on black soldier fly performed best, followed by fish meal, followed by the house fly larvae, and the worst was the diet with soybean as the main protein source. We also looked at feed efficiency, that's how best the feed was used. And we also realized that the best use was made of the black soldier fly larvae meal and the house fly larvae meal. The, still the soybean did not perform very well. So you see that the FCR is quite high for the soybean and it's lower for the larvae meals. Then we also looked at the quantity of feed that was eaten. We realized that the soybean feed was not eaten much the least eaten was the larvae meal. The housefly meal was the least that was eaten. But the black soldier fly was quite high. But if you come to look at the cost of it, because the feed costs of the larvae meal based diets was cheaper, they tended to give us the cheapest cost of feeding the birds, while the soybean and the fish meal gave us higher figures you realize that the larvae meals were lower compared to that of the soybean and the, the fish meal based diet. In terms of the PEF, which is the general husbandry evaluation factor, still the larvae meals perform better. They have higher figures beyond 100, whereas the soybean has the least, which is less than 100. So we can comfortably say that the larvae meals are performing well in terms of cost, in terms of feed usage, in terms of weight gains of the beds. So on this note, we can recommend that we can use larvae meals to produce our broilers and our meat. So we carried out some sensory evaluation and the preliminary results suggest that um, people are in favor of the use of the black soldier fly larvae meal. No, when you use fish, you get the fish tint, you get some flavor of the fish in the meat, but this is absent in the, in the black soldier fly larvae meal. The participants did not know what had been fed to the animals. I just tinned them so they reached an internal temperature of about 75 degrees Celsius. Then I cut them up and then put them in containers, labeled it and served it to the participants. They were supposed to evaluate the meat based on the flavor, the tenderness, the juiciness, and of course, overall acceptability of the meat. We wanted to evaluate how they would react, or whether they would purchase meat from the various diets. And that's how come we brought four breast muscles from the treatments we use on the poultry. An advantage in using the black soldier fly is that we can use it to harness our waste. So even the poultry litter or the pig waste or industrial waste like the wheat bran and the agro-industrial byproducts can be used to produce this larvae meal at a cheaper cost. And then we can get the compost from it, which can be used to uh, manage our uh, soils. The house fly is everywhere. The black soldier fly, you can also introduce them to your house at no cost. You just have to create the environment that the flies like and they will come. And once they are in your household, I can assure you 
The smell that is associated with housefly, you can get it out of out of your house because black soda fly will create an environment which is not conducive for that bad odor to show. Coming from a background where larvae has been used to feed local birds, I see this research as a very good thing and so I was very happy to be part of this program. It is my greatest expectation that I'll be able to train poultry farmers who would also be able to use the larvae in their production so that the cost of production will reduce. We all know as a country that life, uh, poultry production especially is bedeviled with high cost. And so if we are able to beat down the cost of production, we will be able to get more people getting involved. And this would be a very huge break for us because the issues with unemployment and then low income levels will be a thing of the past. Locally, our local birds go for this uh, larvae uh, in places that doesn't look nice. So to, to make the whole thing look better and acceptable to people, if they even know that they are coming from larvae from maybe our flies and whatever it is. The packaging is very important. And when our farmers are taught how to do this properly, people will not have that perception that, oh, they are picking uh, those larvae from fecal samples. They will not have that perception again, but they will love it. This is a very good experiment in the sense that the data collected has shown that it is capable of reducing the feed cost. As we all know, uh, with broiler production or poultry production in general, the feed cost is uh, about the highest investment cost in the, in the whole production business. And so to have ways of reducing the feed cost will go a long way to help improve the profitability of poultry farmers. It is a very good experiment which uh, not only farmers but even assemblies that are faced with the issue of uh, refuge, managing huge amounts of refuse can take up, invest in and be able to environmentally handle the waste that are generated in their assemblies. We improve on our farmers' profitability, their income generation, and also manage our waste in our environment. When I heard of this program, I got very interested because uh, I believe it holds the key to uh, creating a situation where we can be independent of the very expensive imports that uh, we bring into the country for the purpose of uh, feeding our animals, the chicken, the fish, those of us into fish farming, and uh, this is a, a good way of uh, providing substitutes, local substitutes at uh, minimal cost for our uh, poultry and the fish uh, farming industry. I believe if this is very well harnessed, it can provide job opportunities for our young ones. A survey on the farmers showed that they are willing to use it. So what is left is how to produce it and produce it in abundance. And we think that the waste management companies can help in this regard. And we think that government should also help so that we can transfer the technology and get this thing done. This is how we are transferring technology through the extension system and also to industry uh, players like poultry farmers and feed millers.